What's up everybody, Connor Fields here with my jersey collection. Over the years, I've collected so many awesome jerseys from people, tracks, clubs, and, and my own. It's one of the things I'm most proud of is my jersey collection. So we're gonna go through them here. I'm gonna show you guys what I've got. So starting over here is the stuff I use the most. Uh, I've got a bunch of G-form pads, and then I've got my current Chase jersey that I'm wearing right now. And this is kind of like my practice jersey. It's the Fly limited edition tie-dye one that they made up for me. Those are the ones I've been riding in lately, so those go on the side. Another one of the current jersey. And then we got last year's Chase jersey. I actually really like this one. This was one of the, my favorite Chase jerseys that we ever had made. Um, I thought it was really clean. Still use those every now and then. That's why they're on the side. And then next up, we've got... Uh, our current World Cup national team jerseys. These are the ones we wear at the World Cups, uh, World Championships, representing the U.S. national team. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic, just the stripe. Next up, we've got, you guys know what this one is. That's the Olympic jersey. I haven't worn it. Uh, it's still out here. This isn't the one I raced in. It's just a spare one, but... Um, I have actually haven't worn my Olympic jersey other than at the Olympics. Moving farther down, we've got, what are these ones? We've got last year's national team jersey. Uh, this was the one that the U.S. team rode in from 2015 and 16, or 15, 14 and 15. Got a, another custom one, Fly got made for me, just the all red. I thought that was one of the cleanest kits that they had that year, the all red. Moving along, another national team jersey. This is kind of a unique one. USA BMX made this one up and they gave it to a bunch of people at the Grands. It was like a congratulatory Connor Fields Olympic champ jersey. Haven't worn it, but cool to have. Moving farther down. Now this, this is my favorite US national team jersey that I've had throughout my career. We use this one, uh, actually it says right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says 2012 World Cup ran to Berg, Norway. So that was cool. Back then they used to actually get us new jerseys for every race. And we would have the name of the race in the back. But I really like this one. The best part about it was you had a zipper. So for me, training in Vegas when it gets hot, we had a zipper. Even more old school. This is even older. This is the world's jersey, world team jersey from well, 2010, 2011. Uh, this one was pretty cool. These all had it, so it's not just me. These ones all had these. Um, and the collar said, I think you've got a little more magic than you realize. So that one's pretty cool. Coming over here, these ones are pretty cool. So back in 2012 at the Chula Vista World Cups, uh, 2011, they would actually make us a custom one-off jersey just for that one race. You can see here, Olympic Training Center, Chula Vista, California. So this one was 2011 here. And this one was 2012. Yeah, I thought these ones were really good. I like this one the best. And then moving on down, we've got some old school Chase jerseys. This Chase jersey is from 2013. The 2013 Chase jersey. Even older. Now this was my favorite Chase jersey for a long time. This was a 2012 uh, Chase jersey, Chase team jersey. I like the colors on it a lot. I like the light blue. Olympic Trials jersey, 2012. Now this one is a unique one. So Pan American Games in 2011 were in uh, Mexico. And so they actually remade the 2008 Olympic team's jerseys for us. Um, and I remember at the time it said United States America Olympic team. And this is in 2011. So we actually, a lot of us who were on that team all hadn't made the Olympic team yet, but we had to wear these jerseys that said United States America Olympic team. So... Um, yeah, but a cool jersey, nonetheless. Over here we got a, this is an old one, this is from like 2008, an old practice jersey. Um, too big for me, but cool to have, cool to collect. Another old practice jersey. Um, now we get into the cool stuff. So this one is from a club in France. It's called BMX Parent. I'm pronouncing it wrong because my French is horrible. Um, they made me a jersey after I did some training at their club in France, so that was really cool. 
Um, nice thing to take from there, Pan with Fontaine's. Don't make me try that again. And we got a couple of guys. I, I traded jerseys with some of the guys I'm friends with and race with. So this is Trent's Olympic jersey. Um, I think he signed it somewhere inside. But yeah, we got Trent's Kiwi all black Olympic jersey. Would have been hot in Rio. This one we got uh, for the Brazilian fans. We got Renato Resende's Brazil jersey. I always like that one. I think those colors are cool together, the yellow, blue, green. Moving on down, these guys aren't really BMXers, but you guys might know who this, these are. This is uh, Ken Roxon's first Honda jersey. Um, I actually stole it from his agent. Uh, his agent and my agent worked together, and this was sitting on his desk, and I, I grabbed it, and I was like, would you be mad if this disappeared? And he was like, you can have it. So scored that one, and then this one I... I traded uh, Cooper Webb jerseys uh, at the Monster Cup last year, so it's a pretty cool one to have signed. Moving on down, what we got next? We've got a couple of the nice guys in the sport. We've got the Canadian uh, Toy and I Hog jersey, and this one we've got Liam Phillips jersey, uh, GB, Great Britain, England. Keep going, we've got a couple more fast guys. We've got Tuan Van Gent, Dutch Army. Bit of orange in there. This one's very interesting. So for those who don't know, Christophe Levesque was like one of the best PMXers of all time. And uh, he actually now owns Chase Bicycles, who I ride for, and I have a couple of his jerseys. This is back in the day when uh, Specialized was in BMX, so not there anymore. And then he was even sponsored by like Mountain Dew. Um, it's rumored that Christoph's specialized contract was the biggest contract in the history of BMX. Next up, we've got BMX Queensland jersey. Again, I uh, picked this one up when I was in Australia, Queensland, so nice little memory to have from there. And then we've got a couple of kits for when I go on road bike rides. I've got a USA one, I've got a Fly one, and i got a Monster one. So. That's my jersey collection, or part of it, and um, I might go inside, I might try to dig out some more jerseys, I've got some in uh, storage somewhere, but hope you guys thought that was cool. Alright, we got the old bin out with a bunch of old jerseys in here, so let's start digging in and see what we find. We've got some world champ jerseys from 2012-2013. We've got a Chase Bicycles jersey from 2014. A US national team jersey from 2013. No more US national team. US, USA, 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 USA. These are all USA National jerseys. What else we got? What else do we got? Anything good? Anything good? Um, all right, how's this for some old school? This was the first ever Chase Team jersey, 2011. First ever one. It was before we were blue. We were actually gray. It was our very first jersey. And this is the second one, 2012. First year that Chase was blue. How's this for a little old school? Uh, back in the old days, there was actually two sanctions. There was NBL and ABA, and uh, they used to give you a jersey, a number one jersey, if you were the NBL champion. This is even older. This is 2007. This would have been my, or six, actually six. This would have been my Team USA jersey in 2006. I was racing 14s. And this one, Chase Jersey from 2015. We got so much old school jerseys, I could spend all day looking at these things. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my collection. I think I'm gonna need to start getting rid of some of these, so maybe a giveaway soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.